today we are starting the chapter 2 of your test the chapter is polynomials polynomials shraddhicha pettan padikan padiyunna oru chapter aanu polynomials adu kondu thaneyana aadyam naan aa chapter select cheyyadu do you know what is a polynomial you have studied in class 9 what is a polynomial poly means what poly means many poly let out poly which means many so the word polynomial means an expression having variables constants and exponents which are whole numbers what do you mean by polynomial polynomial is a mathematical expressions having variables or variable constants and exponents of whole numbers whole numbers means natural numbers including zero that is known as whole numbers isn't it there are so many polynomials here we have to study linear polynomials quadratic polynomials and cubic polynomials linear means first degree polynomial linear means what first degree polynomial quadratic means second degree polynomial quadratic means what second degree polynomial cubic means third degree polynomial cubic means what third degree polynomial next polynomial is by quadratic polynomial that is fourth degree polynomial it is also known as quartic polynomial by quadratic polynomial is also known as quartic quartic means fourth degree fourth degree polynomial next polynomial is polynomial of degree 5 degree 6 degree 7 etc etc polynomial of degree n which is known as nth degree polynomial polynomial of degree n or nth degree polynomial the standard form of a polynomial is p of x is equal to a n x raised to n plus a n minus 1 x raised to n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 x raised to n minus 2 plus x of a plus a 3 into x cube plus a 2 into x square plus a 1 into x plus a 0 where a n not equal to 0 and a1 a2 a3 a0 a1 a2 a3 a0 a1 a2 a3 etc am are constants and are constants and are known as coefficients coefficients of the polynomial polynomial p of x of the polynomial p of x this is the standard form of a polynomial standard form of a polynomial is p of x is equal to p of x is the name of the polynomial p of x q of x r of x g of x etc if p is the variable then p of y Q of Y, R of Y, etc. 
if t is the variable then p of t q of t r of t etc isn't it here x is the variable so the polynomial is known as p of x which is equal to an x raised to n plus an minus an x raised to n minus 1 plus an minus 2 x raised to n minus 2 plus etc plus x a3 x cube plus a2 x square plus a1 x plus a0 this is the standard form of a polynomial and here an an minus 1 an minus 2 etc s0 are constants and are known as coefficients of the polynomial here the variable of the polynomial is x and the exponents are n n minus 1 n minus 2 etc 3 2 1 0 that is a whole number exponents are whole number 0 1 2 3 etc isn't it now we can take some examples of polynomials p of x is equal to x plus 2 p of x is equal to x plus 2 p of x is equal to x square minus 5x plus 1 p of x is equal to then we take another 9 q of x is equal to x cube minus 2x square plus 5 r of x is equal to x raised to 4 minus x cube plus 1 I am taking some polynomials here p of x is equal to x plus 2 here the exponent of x is 1 here the exponent of x is 1 here it is 1 therefore degree of this polynomial is 1 degree thus degree of a polynomial means degree of the highest variable that means highest power of the variable is known as degree of that polynomial here the variable is x its highest power is 1 so the degree of this polynomial is 1 degree is 1 and here it is 1 in this case, the power of x is 2, power of x is 1. So the highest power is 2. So x degree is 2. Isn't it? Here, the highest power, here the power is 3, here the power is 2. So the highest power is 3. So x degree is 3. And down here, the highest power is 4, so x degree is 4. Clear. Here, if degree is 1, then the polynomial is known as it has a 9. First degree, first degree or linear polynomial. First degree or linear polynomial that means a linear polynomial means a polynomial which has degree 1 isn't it now in the second case here degree is 2 so it is known as second degree polynomial second degree polynomial or it is known as quadratic polynomial that is Second degree polynomials are generally known as 
quadratic polynomial. Here the degree is 3. So this polynomial is known as third degree polynomial. Or it is known as cubic polynomial. Third degree polynomial is generally known as cubic polynomial. Here degree is 4. So this polynomial is known as fourth degree polynomial. Fourth degree polynomials are known as biquadratic polynomial. Biquadratic or it has another name, quartic polynomial. Quartic polynomial. Isn't it? Right. Polynomial in the degree of the same Polynomial in the name of the group. Polynomials are named based on its degree. Degree 1 and 2 are the name first degree and the length of linear polynomial. Degree 2 and 2 second degree and the quadratic. Degree 3 and 2 third degree and the length of Cubic polynomial. Degree 4 are the 4th degree and then the biquadratic and then the quartic polynomial. Degree 5 are the degree 5 or 6 or 7, 8, 9, 10 and now. Polynomials of degree 5, polynomials of degree 6, polynomials of degree 7, etc. etc. And the last polynomial is polynomial of degree n and the power. Understand For this way, we can find the degree of a polynomial and its name. Now, these are the polynomials. Polynomials are polynomial in the standard form in a basic in the polynomials. Allah, suppose, P of x is equal to root x plus 2. It is not a polynomial. Why? In the one with a polynomial idea. Here, root x means x raised to half half. Equal to zero. What about if a is equal to zero? 
P of x is equal to 0 in the x plus b. So we get 0. B. B is known as B x raised to 0. And this is known as a constant polynomial. This is known as a constant polynomial. Linear polynomial in a x in the coefficient of the zero are the polynomial. the polynomial at one. Quadratic polynomial in the x square in the coefficient zero are linear. Cubic polynomial in the x square in the coefficient zero are quadratic at one. Talk to back polynomial at one. Here. If k is the zero of p of x, k and the p of x in the zero item are on a game. So here a into k plus b is equal to zero, or a k is equal to minus b, a is equal to minus b by a and k. If k is the 0 of a linear polynomial ax plus b is equal to 0 then what is the value of k? k is equal to we can directly find the 0 of a linear polynomial by using this formula k is equal to minus b by k that is that is minus constant term minus of constant term divided by coefficient of constant minus a constant term divided by coefficient of x coefficient of x minus constant term divided by coefficient of x is the zero of a linear polynomial you should by heart this form If you know this formula, you can easily find the zero of a linear polynomial. For example, polynomial p of x zero of zero of p of x. P of x is equal to x plus 5. Here k is equal to 0 of this polynomial is what? Minus constant term minus 5 1 by coefficient of x. Here the coefficient of x is 1. x means 1 into x. x means what? 1 into x. Coefficient of x is 1. So here the 0 is minus 1. Another question is p of x is equal to 3x minus 2. Here what is k minus a constant term? Constant term here is minus 2. Take its sign also. Divided by coefficient of x is 3. So 2 by 3 is the minus into minus becomes plus. 2 by 3 is the 0 of p of x. Another question is q of x is equal to x minus 1 by 4. Not x to x minus 1 by 4. Now k is equal to minus constant term minus of 1 by 4 divided by here 2 here also minus minus of minus 1 by 4 divided by 2 and minus the minus becomes plus 1 by 4 by 2 that is 1 by 4 into 2 that is 1 by 8 is the 0 of this formula isn't it so, one linear polynomial is 0 and that is easier to do. So, can you find the 0 of a polynomial? 0 of a polynomial is equal to minus a constant term divided by coefficient of x. 
isn't it? So you have to by what this result? K is equal to minus B by A or minus constant term divided by coefficient of 